Oh my god, it's got to stop right there. Golly, he choked it. I can feel him fraying it. He cranked that thing. What is going on you guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing. And today I am going to be showing you guys how anyone, no matter where you are, no matter where you live, you can come out here and catch snook, snapper, sheep's head, jacks, redfish, trout with just a little artificial shrimp. That is all you need. It's very simple. Literally no matter where you are, I show you plenty of tips and tricks. Uh, we're catching snook. I actually had a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and dive right into the video. All right, boys, well, it's gone. We're tying on a voodoo shrimp. I really have low hopes for myself today. No, we're gonna catch a couple fish. It's a snook. They gotta eat. Okay, we got a wide selection here of voodoos. They're mostly all raggedy and shot out, to be honest with you. Oh wait, it's ripped. Oh, golly, killing me here. Killing me here. These are very raggedy-esque. This one looks purple. Yeah. All right, a little rusty on the hook, but it'll work. Just tying a little loop knot. God, it is blowing, boys. Like, you ain't never seen it blow like this. Just a uni or a little loop knot. Cut my tag end off. That's what we're working with right there. And then I'm throwing my, um, 1,000... OG CI4 on a little Shimano GLF. Seven foot, six to 12 pounds. Very light setup here. See if we can get them. <sighs> All right, boys, so last time we were here, it was actually yesterday, but we were fishing with the fam, you know, very recreational deal. And oh my God, the water's cold. Caught quite a few snook. Caught like five or snooks. I mean, hey, five or six snook. I mean, they were definitely little guys, but something to do. I mean, the wind's howling can't go offshore somehow the water's still clean with this dirty dirty wind this wind make should make the water dirty i don't know i'm just at an all-time low pompano aren't here mackerel aren't here the fish are scared of covid this year boys they just don't want to push down i mean they really don't i, I don't know. this looks very saucy i'm gonna go ahead and uh tell you we're about to catch some snookers Okay, very simple setup today. I don't know how much of that last clip you guys saw. The GoPro looked like it was angled here, but this is a voodoo shrimp. I like that chartreuse tail. The water is a little bit murky, but. And we also got, um, it's like 30 pound liter. We got about maybe two feet of it. Stratic, very, very light setup here today. We're just whipping it out there. And you see where that current kind of breaks out? They're like pushes out. We got an outgoing tide and then it stops right there. I know the snooker is sitting there waiting for a little bait, some in the ambush, you know? They were eating live shrimp yesterday. Makes me, I mean, I've never done this, but I'd only be able to imagine they need the artificial shrimp. Popping it off the bottom best I can. Sorry, you got this glare too, it's onto my eyes as well. So, we got wind against tide. We got an east wind blowing my line. You see my, you see the giant bow on my line. We got tide against wind. Tide's going out, east wind's coming in. Raggedy. I think I just had to work it a tad slower. Um, I was working it kind of fast. 
thing is when there's water super cold like this, I mean, the water's like 65 degrees. That's cold for Florida. Um, you gotta fish your artificial slow. That's why shrimp in the winter time, this time of year works so well because the fish, the shrimp aren't fast baits in the first place. And the fish are so like lethargic from being cold that they just want to bait very subtly putzing past them. So I'm gonna work this shrimp tap it slower and see if uh, I can start getting more bites. Oh my God, it's got stuff right there. Golly, he choked it. I can feel him fraying it. He cranked that thing. Don't fray me off. Low guy, but dude, did he freaking. Oh, it's actually a decent little fish. I was getting very. He's gonna fray me off. He choked it. Oh boy. Let the fight begin on the 1K. Oh, oh boy. Dude, when I tell you I got thumped from Narnia, oh my God, I was not ready for that. I was uh, getting a little depressed there, boys. I had two bites, really slow, and uh, that thing just came out of nowhere. He was sitting real shallow. He was like five feet. It's a slot fish all day. See if we can keep it in. Come on, Johnny. Let me get a new pair of shoes, Gary. Let me show you off to the YouTube land. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Probably it. He's gonna frame me off. 30 pound liter is, uh, you know, not the idea situation right now. Never. I've never a baby this small with snuff before <laughs> on the 1K. It's actually really fun. Okay, this is the longest fight of my life on a snuff. Yeah. Come on, you son of a gun. Oh, he's giving up. He's giving up. He is not giving up. He's gonna jump right here. There he goes, he's done. Tail's out of the water. He's getting a little fatigued. That thing's down his throat. Come here, you son of a gun. I'm so fray. If he runs one more time, I'm done, so I'm doing that. He like shakes his head, I'm done. Oh, God, I'm, he's not slot. He's just under, I mean, he's not even good. It's a beautiful little snook. Look what happened to him. Something definitely happened right there. I don't know if that was a dolphin or what. Something. This is a warrior. Okay, let me show you guys why I was... Okay, hold on. Holy smokes. That little shrimp is in there, Johnny. Let me show you guys why I baby this fish so hard. Look at that shrimp. Nowhere to be found. Look at my leader, how fray. Beautiful little snook. Like if we can get a couple more. Uh, gotcha. Well, Voodoo got it done. Hey, it worked. Beautiful fish. Go ahead and release her. So instead of like bouncing, I kind of was just like crawling on the bottom. Probably like a 26 inch fish. Fun on the 1K. <laughs> That scar, though, that's crazy. Something was. I don't have to actually revive this fish. Caught it so hard. There he goes. So when you're fighting a snook like that on light tackle, you want to take the time to revive it because 
you can actually kill a fish by fighting it on light tackle. You're you're making that fish work for everything it's got because your tackle's so light, you can't just horse it in, you know what I mean? With the heavier rod, heavier reel, you can horse that fish in, it's still got plenty of energy. Like a, like a snook like that, I just chuck right back in. I fought it on a 1,000 no. I'm gonna give it time to revive, it's tired. I mean, it, fought, it had everything it had. It gave everything it had, okay. Look at my leader. Snook have very, very abrasive mouths. Very abrasive mouths. Watch how quick this goes, ready? What? There we go. Didn't actually break as easy as I expected. I expected it just snap right off. Well, let me retie real quick. I actually, I'm gonna put a whole new leader on, retie, and uh, see if we can't get another one. I'm gonna tell you guys something. I am not sponsored by Corlin Line, this little company right here, but I've been using their floor for a couple years now. It's actually lights out. They sent me a little discount code. Uh, they didn't give it to me for free. They sent me a little discount code like two or three years back, even way before I started YouTube. And I've been using their stuff ever since. I love it. I get it. It's lights out. You see how frayed I was and that it barely broke. My leader was short, so I had to kind of, you know, retie there. Standard uni knot. If you guys don't know how, you take your uh, mono side to three loop it three times so i loop it up you don't want to pull too tight right there but tight enough and then this is an eight pound braid so i'm actually going to take my braid and double it instead of like coming right here and just doing my regular uni i'm going to double my braid like that so it's two it's twice as thick so because it's so thin that it might pull through that knot i'm going to double it and then go through with braid i like to go like six or seven times you know, whatever your heart desires is what I tell people. It never really tickles your peaches. Okay. Move that whole rig up. Pull tight. It's ready. Now keep your line nice and then the cut for the boards here. Same little loop knot. Very simple. Got my tag in. Go catch us another one, boys. So it's actually kind of interesting. What I just did there, I switched up my technique for how I was fishing that that voodoo shrimp. And uh, I did the same thing I was doing in the Keys with my buddy John and David. I wasn't like, you know, like you'll see some people fishing artificial, very suspect, but like jerk it like that, that, ah, uh, Tom Foolery, okay? Here's what I was doing, I'll show you on dry land, actually. So I was casting my shrimp out there, and instead of popping it and let it sit, I was reeling it towards me, and then a slight pop. So what John told me to do when we were bone fishing, actually, if you guys want to go check out that video, it'll be popping up right here or right here. I honestly don't remember. That was a pretty epic bone fish video. We caught like three or four bone fish on these little shrimps. Anyways, what I was doing to the bone fish is you'd see him, you'd cast the bone fish, let it sit, and then pull it away so you would, you would entice him and then pop it. You wouldn't like pop it, pop it, you know what I mean? Then he wouldn't really come over towards it. He would look at it, you'd pull it away so he'd get very interested on it and be intrigued to attack it. You'd pull it away, pop it, and then he'd dump it. So that's exactly what I just did, except for I can't see these snuff, but I know they're here. That was probably uh, the most fun I've ever had catching a uh, dink snuff. I'm not even gonna lie. I really am not. And uh, you guys are wondering why I chose this spot, like for fishing. Um, Look at this structure. That's actually like a, a current breaker. It's called, called the groin. Um, probably the most overpopulated fishing spot in US history. This will go down in the books as the most blown out spot in the world. <laughs> it used to be like insane. Like I literally been coming here since I was practically born. Fishing, catching snapper, snug, all sorts of crap. Used to be really, really good and then uh, not throwing out names, but you know, 
some people came in town and just started uh, doing charters. Uh, like people always say charters here, but you know, I'm just gonna drop it. I'm just gonna drop it. Whatever. Used to be, let's just say this. If I was doing this five, six years ago, I probably would have already caught a dozen snuck, all that. Overs, unders, you name it. Caught one. Ooh, there he was. Oh, yeah, he's got smoke. Maybe we'll come back for it. Um, but look at all this structure we got. Snook like to hang out in structure like this. They like to be around structure. They want to surround their se themselves in something, you know? They don't want to just be putzing around free swimming. Some boys like structure. Anytime you're looking for a new fishing area, you won't find structure. Docks, pilings, the groin, the jetty, anything. There we go. A little snapper or something? Oh no, micro snook. Micro snook. Wow. Well, size definitely varied here, boys. We went from 26 inch common snook to a uh, micro. Golly, that thing's cold. That's actually a sword spine. That is not a common snook. Two different species. I'm getting recreational, aren't I, boys? Golly. It's like the same bite I had in my last cast. It's probably a whole school of those old things down there. I'm telling you, the slower you fish your bait, that fish is cold, man. Them, those things aren't aggressive right now. They just want something literally putzing past their face. They don't wanna, they don't wanna work for a meal. They want something floating to them. That's why live shrimp, like I said, that's why live shrimp works. You guys think I'm telling fibs out here. I'm just trying to teach the boys, uh, true statements. There we go. Nice, little snook. Man, he thumped it. You guys can do this anywhere too. Like, I'm telling you, anywhere there's structure this time of year, you, you can throw little shrimps, little, uh, <laughs> these airing out, little um, bucktails, anything. And you guys are gonna catch these snook. You just gotta put your time in, time the tide right. You guys always ask me too, how do I get into snook fish? You guys literally just have to put your time in. It didn't, I didn't just walk out here one day and start catching snook. You're gonna go and not catch fish. Just how you figure out where to go and when to go, you know? It's fishing, boys. Wow, a little petite snook there. Smoke the shrimp. I've had snook like this thump harder than 40 inches. <laughs> no joke, no joke. Little beauty. See ya, buddy. Thanks for playing. Look at that, how, how bad he frayed me. That's literally off of a dink snook. I have to retie. I think we figured out a little something there, boys, though. I think we did. Tell me that doesn't look like the most lights out lure of your life. That's a money cast, baby. That's a money cast. And you know, the um, thing is, a lot of the snook fishing, if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go check me out. It's adam.malusi. A lot of snook you guys should be post most post 40 inch slots is that a lot of those fish are uh, secret spots that I'm not going to film because I would hate to blow out like a fishery I've been doing for a very long time because you know it's just the truth once I post something on YouTube people are gonna go do it that's how it works oh my god I'm a sniper put me in Afghanistan Did you see that cast what? Dude, I just got thumped so hard my line snapped and I set hook. How the hell is that even possible? Um, all right, I guess that's what I get for fishing eight pound. I got smoked. I guess I'll retie. All right, we're back. I got a different one now. 
same deal though. Catching stuff. Ah, oh, this one's gonna get smoked. That was some BS. Now I'm in my mono. <laughs> Dude, I literally just respooled this stuff. I guess. Ah, uh, that was annoying. I got stumped. Set hook. See ya. I knew I was gonna get bit too. Sometimes you have these casts. Me and my buddy Baylor were talking about. Sometimes you're just fishing a lure, whether it's a goofy jig, a shrimp, a plug, anything. And you just have like a certain like sweep, and you know you're gonna get bit, and you literally get thumped right when you know it. It's kind of crazy. Like you have a perfect like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, boys. What? You getting smoked? There we go. My drag was so loose, you're swimming with it the whole time. Oh, a little crevasse. What the heck? Maggoty deal. Very crevasse esque. Exotics. Oh, yeah, that's a snook right there. Watch this. What's the deal with these hardtails? Wow, another crevasse best mine. They're aggregating, boys. Just goes to show you, like, look at these conditions. Blowing 30 miles an hour, have a wind against tide. Ah, oh, you're getting tight, boys. It may be recreational, but we're out here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, nice enough. I mean, nice for our conditions here. He smoked it. That was sick, little heat. Definitely not a nice one, but don't think. I'm telling you, dude, these little ones thump it so hard. Well, sword spine. Bite's starting to pick up as the tide slows down. And look how white. Hold on. Look how white that snook is, bro. In the sun there. That is the whitest snook of my life. Well, sword spine. See you, bud. Let me know if you guys like videos like this. I'll, I'll come back here and do this. <laughs> I come back here and throw other lures for you guys. Show you guys different techniques on how to fish different lures. I mean, there's different techniques for everything. As you can see, this is what gets bit. One more cast. So as you guys can see, the water definitely stirred up a little bit. When we got here, it was more like of a aqua pompano-esque flare, clear. Now it's like more greenish. Um, I actually got bit on that last cat. When I said last cast, my GoPro died. I, got, I literally got bumped and my GoPro died. I ended up, he actually came back for it. I ended up catching him. It was like a, another dink, like a 15, 20 inch snuff. Um, you know, very dink-esque. But, it's a beautiful day out here. Very beautiful day. Um, tide's slowing down. Those fish aren't going to, those fish are not going to bite when the tide slows down. I, I casted probably another 10, 15 minutes, and it was slow. I didn't get any more bites. So, we have that east wind blowing the water in, and we also have an outgoing tide, so it's slowing, slowing down the tide quicker than it was originally supposed to be slowed down. So, I really only got the fish for about, I'd say 30 to 45 minutes, give or take. I still had a lot of fun, whatever. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you learned a thing or two about fishing with artificials, um, or just snook fishing in general, drop a comment, let me know. I think I was pretty informational in this video. I'm usually not. I'm usually more just like me killing a lot of fish and not talking in the camera, but you guys like to learn and I, I wanna help you learn, so. Made a little video for you. Um, Drop a comment, let me know if you would like to see me make 
more videos like this because I, I like making it. It's easy on me. I don't, you know, it's easy on me. I don't have to go offshore and kill a crap ton of fish. I can just stay right in shore. And I like talking to the camera, I guess. I like teaching, you know what I mean? Let me know if you learned something. Seriously, let me know. Um, appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead down below and hit that subscribe button. Drop a like. If you like the video, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. It means a lot. Share with your friends and family. We're trying to grow. We are almost at 25,000 subscribers. When we hit 25K, we have a huge, huge giveaway. Huge giveaway. No joke there. Um, probably the biggest 25 giveaway you'll ever see. With all that being said, thank you guys. Till next time. Moving weights out.